Hello, it's Friday and that means our old friend Zero is back in the tower. This week, head straight forwards upon landing, go down the stairs, keep going forwards, and turn right as you enter the vanguard room and you'll find him over there by the wall. Exotic armor costs 13 strange coins and available this week. For Titans, there's an insurmountable skull fort, which allows you to reduce your cooldown for your grenade by causing damage with your melee, replenish health each time you pick up an orb of light, and means that kills with Storm Fist immediately trigger health regeneration. You will also respawn with full melee energy. Hunters can get Knucklehead Radar, which has perks such as radar remaining visible while aiming your primary weapon, increased super energy from killing minions of the darkness, and causing damage with your grenade reduces your melee cooldown. The Warlock's Claws of Amkara will give you an additional charge for Scorch and Energy Drain, increased reload speed with special weapons, and increased melee attack speed. This week, the exotic pulse rifle Red Death is available for 23 strange coins. Each kill heals you and speeds up reloads, and it's easier to aim under fire using this weapon. For 7 strange coins, you can gain an exotic shard. Or for 23 motes of light, you can get an exotic engram. Available for upgrade this week, Mask of the Third Man. Lucky Raspberry, Helm of Saint-14, Helm of Inmost Light, Light Beyond Nemesis, Sunbreakers, Hard Light, Red Death, Universal Remote, Plan C, Patience and Time, and Truth. In the Curios Department this week, Scout Rifle Telemetry, Machine Gun Telemetry, and Rocket Launcher Telemetry, all for one strange coin each. For your Sparrow, you can get either Emerald Coil or Void Drive for 23 strange coins. Both improve speed and durability, with the Emerald Coil providing greenish control under boost, and Void Drive providing a purple one. And finally, a stack of 5 Heavy Ammo Synthesis is available for one strange coin. Bye for now.